called Sean Paul Zabatiriho and I'm a design architect in Mass Design Group. I graduated in 2014 and that's where I started working at Mass. I really like this philosophy of Mass. They don't really see the building as just a building, but they look beyond that, like how the building is going to be used by the users. It's not just having a structure, but how the structure is going like, to serve the users. Usually, if you design a building, what you do is just supervision. It's like you go back to see what has been designed, if it's coming very well. During that process, you don't really have time to interact with the community because you just show up to check if what you design is what is being implemented. But during the process, if you are to site, that's where you come to realize maybe what I designed is not fitting the area. So that's why I believe in this process of even being to site full time, where you see like everything you design, every line you draw coming together and make something. Imagine if I send drawing to someone and expect that like to be the final product. It is really a very hard and challenging process, but also you miss this point of learning during that process. So this is the second phase of the doctor's housing, where I was part of. And the housing are coming to support the hospital that was built in 2010, that when it was completed. And now we want to make sure that we can accommodate for the medical staff coming here to treat people. So this was a share house where we were able to provide some shared spaces, shared living room, shared porches, so that they can come together, but still providing them some private rooms. So it's the second phase, it will be accommodating 15 doctors. One of the philosophies that we really believe in is we are trying to see how can we have impact on the, this new generation of designers. Architecture in Rwanda is still new, so what we are doing in all our design is to try to do new things that will let them start imagining what can be the next because it's still possible. So when you were doing our doors and windows, it doesn't need to be like the shape is always rectangular. So that's what like our philosophy was when designing this thing. For the windows, they are not like always horizontal. They can be always like they can be somehow slant or sloping. We want to make sure that they still have that lighting in the building, they can do ventilation, but still they don't need to be always like vertical. So we want to have really to start engaging this discussion within the designers through the design that we have already in place. So everyone who is visiting the housing is trying to imagine why this, and then that's what we want to get. Like everyone trying then to start thinking beyond what is normal.